here it is, the brand new XTR. I've got two bikes behind me that we're gonna check out. So I've got the cross country bike and the enduro bike. Let's get into some of the finer details. Let's start by looking at the cross country bike and we'll start at the heart of the group set, the crank set. Now just take a look at that. It's been completely re-engineered. It's stronger, it's lighter, and it looks so aggressive. One real nice point about this is the fact that it's got a direct mount chainring, so it's really easy to swap them in and out. So onto the cassette, and it is probably one of the biggest changes in the group set. It's 12 speed, and it comes in two different options. You've got 10 to 45, which is on this bike, and you also have 10 to 51. Running the 10 to 45, you've got smaller steps. However, on that 10 to 51, you've got a bigger range. The cassette is actually made out of three different materials. You've got steel, titanium, and then aluminium. The rear derailleur has been completely redesigned and just take a look at it. It is so cool looking. It's aggressive and you can really see the engineering that's gone into it. You've got those big 13 tooth jockey wheels and that's just gonna mean that you've got smooth shifting all the way through the gears. The brakes have also had some upgrades done to them. This is the XTR Race Edition, so it's the lightest in the group set. Now, one really cool thing that I love about these is the fact that the caliper is actually made from one piece of aluminium. And then when you come up to the brake lever itself, well, it's unique in the fact that it has got two points of contact, making the lever feel really stiff and making sure that when you pull that lever, it's only gonna slow you down. You also have the iSpec EV, which mounts a shifter onto the brake lever. And the cool thing about this is that you've got two axes, so you can adjust up and down and then back and forth, making sure that you can get it completely dialed and set to your position for riding. Last thing to talk about on the cross-country bike is the hubs, and these have been redesigned. It features silence technology. Yep, that's right. It means that the hub is actually silent when you spin that free hub. It also has a micro spline, and that is a new standard to fit the Shimano cassette on. Now, let's go and check the enduro bike out. The crank set is very similar to that of on the cross country bike. However, it's got a wider Q factor just to give you a little bit more stability. One thing that we haven't mentioned yet is the fact that it's also two by compatible, giving you the biggest range of gears possible. Going onto those pedals, well, you can see that they've just been ever so slightly redesigned. So you've got a bigger platform and some chamfered edges. So if you do want to unclip, then you've got some additional grip. So here it is, the 10 to 51 tooth Cassette, giving you a huge range of gears, 510%, meaning that you can pretty much climb anything and then descend all the way back down. Again, it's important to mention that the cassette is 12 speed. And then moving on to that rear derailleur, well, I told you all the details before, but just sit back and take a look at it, because I love it, it looks so cool. Remember that silence technology I was just telling you about? Well, let's have a listen. All you can probably hear is the wind. Just imagine riding through the forest, loam whipping up around you, that would be bliss. Let's talk about the brakes for the enduro bike. Well, they feature the servo wave, so you've actually got the adjustment right at the lever to dial them in, and then it features the same things with the iSpec EV and also the two position clamping. But the really cool thing about these is the fact that they're a four piston brake, and this is the first time in the XTR group set that they've actually featured that. So it's gonna give you maximum stopping power to slow down for those really long and arduous descents. So there you have it, the new XTR group set. You've got the cross country bike and the enduro bike. And I myself can't wait to get out and ride it and see what it's like on the trails. Make sure that you stay tuned to all the Shimano channels for the latest information about the group set and check out ridextr.com for more information.